birthday with. Also, okay, our final item in the hour. Did you know that your laundry, your, your washing machine uses 65 to 70 gallons of water to wash one load? If you've got a small load, maybe you've got your delicates, that's, that's not only an hour of your time waiting for it, it's 65 to 70 gallons of water. We've got an innovative solution here with Kelly Diedring. This uses one or two One to gallons. two gallons for your wash cycle and one to two gallons for your rinse cycle. Incredible. So you could potentially say, 60 gallons of water if you're paying by the gallon, which most people are if you're yeah. on municipal water system. You're paying by the gallon. Also, the time spent in a laundromat, if you live in an apartment, an oh, RV, no. a mobile home, uh, anywhere there's a small space, just an apartment community, most of them just have that communal laundromat, mm -hmm. or somebody with a dorm, and you don't want to send them to right. the laundromat, because they're not, I mean, let's be honest, they're not the most uh, luxurious places to go. Sure. They can, you can be nervous of somebody going to the laundromat by themselves. Let's show you how to do a load of laundry. Yeah. And I'll take you on a little tour of the laundry pod. So what this is, is it's the world's first non-electric, so no plugs, uh, environmentally friendly, low water consumption washing machine. And With all you have to do is spin. With no elbow grease. Yeah, either. no it's elbow grease. Super it's easy really easy to, use. to spin um, it. You'll love this. This is a great way to sort of keep your privates private. Yeah, so and if that's you like the to keep your you delicates know, your, delicate. Yeah. So most of our delicates, um, and that's the load that we're going to do today. Okay. Most of our delicates, ladies, say hand wash only. Yeah. Raise your hand if you're hand washing your delicates. You're not doing it. You're throwing it in that big giant machine and it's destroying your delicates. Right. Maybe you have a bra strap that was broken or ripped or maybe you have some panties that were broken or ripped. We pay good money for these sets of, you know, maybe it's a matching set. I pay I mean, I don't know about you, I pay $60, $75 for a one bra. Right. And well, it says when, hand wash when only. When that elastic goes out, you're like, I can't get that color nope. again. No and more set. You know, I mean, I don't hand wash anything anymore, no. to be honest with you. I use my laundry pod because even if it's, this is basically a step above hand washing. This is technically hand washing. So you can feel safe and confident that it's not going to destroy your clothes like those big electric machines. I've even got a full nightgown here. So this is eight pieces of delicates. But maybe so, this is scrub tops. Maybe it's a pair um, of jeans that you love. Yeah. Maybe it's your yoga pants or a set of baby clothes Aww. you know with the babies you know sometimes they get things on them that you don't want to put in the rest of the sure. wash right like spit up or you know we uh, won't whatever, go there whatever anything. else we've this all had a, that this is a big capacity though. yeah so i would say eight to ten pieces if you're doing delicates and like three to five pieces of traditional clothing this is okay. for your small loads of laundry yeah. okay and most of us are doing the small loads if you have a giant family this is not going to do the giant loads right so all you do is you load your laundry on the inside and then you use any laundry detergent. So maybe this is your Nellie's or maybe this is your Eco Egg. Eco Eggs go inside uh -huh. here. Okay. This is just a traditional laundry detergent. You use about one fifth. So you're going to save money on laundry detergent mm -hmm. as well. So it's about one fifth, just a little dab. And then for your wash cycle, it is one to two gallons of water. Okay, so it depends on how much you have in here. Because I've got just eight delicates, I'm just going to use one gallon of water. But just That's to it. put it into perspective, your laundry machine, even on a small load, is usually about 60 to 75 gallons of water on that's, a small load. I mean, that's, that's a lot a if lot you're paying for water. Gallon. Yeah, and we were talking about that. I'm from California. We, we're in drought season, Gaia, almost every year. Yep. And um, and you get you charged extra for all the water. And of course, it's a precious commodity. We want to be able to keep that Whoa. water. So, okay, so normally they're white, but we're, we're able to see through yeah, this Yeah, so the one. one that you're getting home will be white. We made a clear one just so you can <gasps> see that on the inside, Ooh. every single rotation of my hand is four rotations with that basket. So it's not like you have to spin and spin I mean, I'm sorry, this is not going to be a workout. This is not going to get you big, <laughs> bulky arms. It's actually really easy to spin. So if you're thinking about it for, you know, that delicate college student, or maybe you're thinking about it for your elderly parents that live in a mobile home, or maybe they're in assisted living, and you want them to be able to do, you know, those small in-between loads, it's very easy to spin. You go both ways, so it's for righties, it's for lefties, okay? And I would say on a wash cycle, I spin it about one to two minutes. Okay. So think about that just in terms of time savings. Your fast cycle, or at least mine, most mm -hmm. fast cycles, you know, the speed wash, 65 to 70 gallons of water, and those are about 35 to 45 minutes. Now, if you're doing, like, uniforms for tomorrow's soccer game that you forgot to uh, wash, 45 yeah. minutes is not fast. No. Especially if you're rushing out the door to get to, you know, um, said soccer game. So about one to two minutes on your wash cycle. Your laundry pod's going to do a wash, a rinse, and a spin. 
So wow. this will actually spin the the the, the so um, remaining no water. No more out ringing with our out. hands. Yep. And I can't do that like I used to be able to do anyway. Um, today it's on four flex. So for under twenty dollars, you can get this ingenious solution, and um, and you can get it home at twenty dollars off. That's the lowest price we've ever offered. We just recently introduced this, and people were like, "This is really great." Yep. People talked a lot about the ringing and about yep. not taking up sink space in your home. So now you're just draining it out. So there's actually a little tab here and I'll okay. scooch this around so you can see it and all I did was unlock it okay so I just unlocked the um, tab and it's draining my water it's actually draining it out behind me but at home you can drain it into your sink and your utility tub if you're outdoors you're camping or you're RVing if you're using like eco egg or some environmentally friendly detergent you can just let it drain into the ground into the grass okay, oh, okay. so you can drain this anywhere I talked to a lot of folks that get this for the outdoorsmen the adventurer the RVers uh, um, the boaters yeah. that need to be able to they're spending one or two nights on the boat and they need to be able to wash clothes. Right. Yeah, you caught fish in those, please wash yeah, them. Yeah, please wash them. If you are a hunter, <laughs> Good please wash point. those clothes before you come home. So that's the wash cycle. So I, as I said, it, you go through three cycles. It takes about five minutes. So, I mean, think about your total. Fast. Total, <laughs> total. So you can see that was my wash cycle. And then all I'll do is like your traditional washer would do is do a rinse cycle. So then okay. after I drain my wash cycle, I just pour in one to two gallons of clean water. Okay, so this is just traditional clean water water and this is going to rinse the soap and the suds out of your clothing so anybody that doesn't want to go to the laundromat maybe you're purchasing this mm. for somebody that lives in new york city in a high rise and they don't sure. have um you know they don't have a washer dryer or any condominium community or apartment community where you don't want to send people to the laundromat you know all those quarters spent all that extra ink spent somebody takes your delicates out of the laundromat or your clothing because they want to get into the washer dryer oh yeah so it's such a it's just a cumbersome process process if you don't have one in your home this is the rinse so all I'm doing is spinning just like your traditional washing machine would and I want you to give that a go all so right you've never see. done it no and you asked me well is it oh. difficult it's so easy to it's spin it's almost like it keeps itself going yeah. with its own it's little like centrifugal, that's centrifugal force, force. Yeah. so uh, you can go both ways for righties like or lefties finger. how about that how about one finger and use? every <laughs> time she spins it it actually circulates the basket four times so do I go one direction you go either way direction? have as much fun or as little fun with it as you want Shannon all right you can go one direction you can get the teenage kids involved. You can do it like your kids can yeah. do their own soccer uniforms or whatever it is. Okay. So that's just rinsing your clothing out. So we did our wash cycle. We showed you that. We've done our rinse cycle. I'm going to drain it, and I want you to watch. The water just drains wherever you want. It's a very long tube, so you can take the tube and put it anywhere, you know. You can go into the sink or wherever you want it to drain. And then the cool part about it is there's no hand wringing. So if you're getting this just to do your delicates or things that you would traditionally wash with your hands, and you've got arthritis or any kind of dexterity issues in your hands, and you just quite simply can't do the hand wringing process, yeah. because you gotta get it a little bit dry before you put it on the line, right. or it's gonna take forever. If you just can't do that motion, this is so cool. It's the only machine that I've ever seen that will actually spin your clothes dry. So you just leave it open, and you just start spinning, and it's actually gonna wring all of the water out of your clothes. Oh my gosh, and this cool? would be great, even if you just have a pool in your backyard, yeah, you wanna be able to rinse gear. it. Those swim suits and and um, and dry them. Nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, my producer Dan actually came up with a great suggestion. He said, "What if you don't want to lug a big load of laundry all the way down to the yeah. laundry room? Yeah. Or uh, maybe you've got like me. I hate going to my laundry room because guess it's the garage, oh, which is like one hundred and fifty <laughs> degrees in Florida. I would be like, oh, I'm just going to wear it dirty or buy that's a new right. one. That's right. Any of anybody with the older homes where they have to go out into the garage. That's a lot of folks here yep. in the St. Petersburg area. We have to go out to the garage. Yep. You can do this anywhere. Remember, Remember, it's non-electric. It's the world's first and I believe only non-electric washing machine. It'll do those small mm. in-between loads. So ladies, if you're just not hand washing your delicates and you're finding yourself buying a new bra every year right. or every couple of months because that spinning electric washing machine, it damages our clothing. It's not good for your clothing. It really agitates it more than most of our clothing needs. If you've got the bras and panty sets or maybe you have a nice blouse that just quite simply says hand wash only and every time you're like, I'm not going to wear that because I don't want to hand wash it now you can this is a step above the hand wash process it's so much easier and it will do those small in-between loads for 
it. So anybody that's single maybe lives in a high rise or a condo yeah. and they a dorm it's so perfect for dorm rooms. Yeah. I mean you don't want to send your college aged, you know, daughter or son to the laundromat. No. Who knows? Oh. You know, I don't love laundromats. Well, they're I mean, it's like some of the worst places to be, right? And you always have you to just, be there at the worst time. Exactly. Also, I have a lot of things too that say wash separately. Yes. Right? Because of the color. Yeah, and they don't the say color. you have to hand wash it, yeah. but I'm like, I have one red shirt. Yep. I'm not gonna put it in the it's load all by itself. Good I'm not gonna point. put it in with my jeans. We pay an arm and a leg also for our jeans. Yes. It really does. They've got It'll a lot do of one or two pairs of jeans. Anything with spandex in it or anything or the dark with any wash, of those extra. like what you're wearing, that yeah. you don't want that clothing or the, the dye to get on anything That's else. Right. It's great for that. It's a great solution. And you're completely in control of the temperature. Yes. Mine will sometimes say that it was cold and I'll pull it out and I'll be like, this is Ooh, pretty it feels, warm. Yeah, it doesn't feel so cold. Yeah, this That's is a what... little small. So never any, um, it's never going to shrink yep. or fade yeah. because you're completely in control. $20 and you can, off. Yeah, you great can deal. preserve your clothing. I mean, you know, it just damages our clothing. So these are just some examples. You use it for whatever you want to use it for you probably in your mind already know but baby clothes this might be a great gift for a new mom if there's spit up or other things on the mm. baby's clothing you really don't want to throw it in the traditional yeah. wash with everything else pet clothing or pet you know blankets if you don't want to wash with the rest of the you know laundry scrub tops we actually get a lot of calls from nurses doctors dental hygienists veterinary technicians right. that have they don't want 20 pairs of scrubs they wear the same outfit daily sure they want to be able to wash it at night and then wear it the next day right. and not have to do a full load of laundry again your delicates like things like your nightgowns your panties your bras those types of things we use it a lot when we're camping you know we don't hike with it obviously but back at the campsite if you have an rv or just a tent you can wash your hiking gear or anything that's been you know smelly you yeah. know from hiking speaking of as you're doing this how how much does it weigh just when it's not full um the laundry it's, pod yeah great question couple pounds maybe maybe two okay. i mean i'm not sure i'm not 100 sure but it's very lightweight okay it's about one cubic foot i know for the size great so yeah, if you're so putting it easy it to fit store under a sink or oh, under yeah. a counter okay and the handle folds down i'll show you that nice. um i've got like 55 pairs of yoga pants but i like <sighs> about two of them <laughs> so if my favorite pair